and welcome to this week's bargain of the week. I am in full glam. I feel like myself today. <laughs> um, yeah, so my skin is improving. Um, you know, I picked up my meds from the first, uh, I picked up my meds from the drugstore. So uh, don't skip your meds. Anyway, um, just kidding. Um, oh yeah, bargain of the week. Whew, maybe I need a focus medication. Okay, so I, oh, if, I feel like it's drugstore week. It's been like drugstore week, hasn't it? So much new stuff at the drugstore. Um, and you saw my massive drugstore haul. If you haven't, you should. And um, I showed you guys the Rimmel new eyeshadow palette and I played with it. Since that haul and video, love it. So um, I was like showing it to you guys, going, <laughs> um, okay, whatever, this isn't so good, you know, like who cares? And then I'm like swatching it for you guys on camera, and then I was sort of impressed. And today I'm wearing it. Can you see? I don't know, I feel very, I'm kind of glam today. I'm kind of. You know, I'm kind of breaking some rules because I feel like I've got a dark eye with a bright lip, dark lip, but my philosophy is there are no rules in makeup. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So let's just toss out the little spongy dudes because I'm not using them. I'm going to use... I should do a makeup challenge with all the little brushes and sponge doodads that come in the drugstore makeup. That would be funny. Because actually that's not funny. That's how I used to apply my makeup. <laughs> what am I talking about? In 1991, that's how I applied my makeup. I didn't own makeup brushes. Okay, so this is officially called the Magnifies, I sh oh no, sorry, Magnifies Shadow Palette by Rimmel. And it is the eyeshadow contouring palette. This particular one is the Grunge Glamour, and there are three total. The one, the reason I love this one so much is because it is both matte and metallic, and neutral and dramatic. So I will just swatch this for you. Let's see, where is Rimmel made? What did I say? Oh, made in China. Sorry. Okay. Uh, moving on. Um, okay, so I am wearing, what am I wearing today? I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm kind of smoky. This is totally a dupe for the naked one, I believe. I really, I really do believe. So, okay, so here I'm going to show you the first shade is a very light whitish bisque. Now you might go, but Rebecca, like two weeks ago, you did $3 eyeshadows. Like why another eyeshadow in your bargain of the week? And you're right. So I'm sorry, but I do have kind of a second bargain of the week item for you, which I will show you in just a second. And I'm hoping that that makes up for it. <laughs> like, please don't be mad because I'm bringing you a bonus bargain of the week item. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here's, uh, this is sort of a more gold, um, you know, like gold bisque shade. This is matte. This is a matte sort of peachy nude. Let us swatch. That does not look that exciting swatched on the back of my arm. I'm sorry. Um, but I promise you, let's do my hand. That's a little better, right? I don't have really anything on my hand, but I feel like maybe my hand is more moisturized and my arm is sort of dry. This shade is so pretty. This is a very good, it doesn't show up very well on my hand, but that is a really good all over lid shade. I am wearing that. So I am wearing this shade and this shade, both top, top and bottom. Okay, so then we have this right here, this and this. So those are those three. And to be fair, or not to be fair, what am I saying? Um, I'm not wearing any of those. Yes, no, I am totally wearing. I am wearing this one on my bottom lid. And they are just so pretty, so pretty. And oh my goodness. 
So I really feel like this formula is so blendable and nice and pigmented without being kind of too pigmented. Um, I'm not really a, normally a fan of Rimmel eyeshadows, so maybe that's why I'm so impressed with this palette. Um, now the next one we have, these are some of the mattes, and these are like your serious smoky eye matte shades. If, and I am wearing this one in the corner. And that is what it looks like. I mean, that pigment is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay, so then next, oh, the last three are all, are, well, they're metallic. One is almost kind of sparkly. Ooh, that is a dupe for, so I feel like, so here is the last three shades. This one right here is totally a dupe for that black Too Faced shade that has been in their last few palettes. And then I did use this, I actually used that in my lower lash line. It's a little bit darker than I normally do, but I wanted a little more drama and I liked the way it was kind of a metallic, like a gunmetal. So there you guys go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 shadows, I saw this at Target. I got mine at Walgreens. Did I get it? Yeah, I got mine at Walgreens. I'm sure things you can use a coupon at uh, Ulta if you see it at Ulta. So I just think it's fun. You know you're gonna go out and shop and see it anyway. And you're gonna wonder, should I even bother? And my answer is yes, I think you should bother. Okay, so here is my bonus item. So I don't know if you can tell, but along with my kind of smoky dark shadow, I am also wearing liquid liner. And I just saw this after I did my whole physician's formula, what's new at the drugstore thing. I didn't see this at Rite Aid before, and then there was a new display of sort of replenished products. And you can see it has a $5 rebate. A lot of the new physician formula has the coupon stickers attached to it, but be pay attention. Some are rebates, some are coupons. And I have had trouble with physician formula rebates in the past, so whatever. But anyway, okay, this is the physician formula matte lacquer cream eyeliner. And I am so glad I decided to buy it. Um, it is so cool. Do you guys remember? The Benefit, they still, what is it called? It's the Benefit liquid liner that you push up through the little rubber tip and then the cream formula comes out and it's supposed to be super easy to glide along your eye. Well, I've tried that and I liked it. My problem is the applicator tip was a little bit too big and I felt like the formula skipped a little bit. But this is so smooth and so easy to use. Um, okay, it twists off. So you basically, you twist it up until, oh, that, that is a lot. But now you can see how the tip, it's sort of that sponge tip and the product is pushed through. I'm gonna wipe this away. Okay, so it's matte and I feel like it's super velvety. Here, let me get, well, that's just dumb. What happened there? You know, my problem, I have several, but my problem is I don't, I can't do my left hand. Okay, I'm gonna do it right here, okay? Okay. Um, so the cool thing is, look at that, all on one top, you know, turn up. Turn up for what? Um, yeah, so I like it because it is so easy to just glide along your lash line. It, <laughs> you can keep going with this for days. There we go. Okay, and then the other thing is, is it dries, it's not shiny, it's flat, it um, doesn't smear, it doesn't budge, it doesn't wear away, and you have to use actual eye makeup remover to remove it. So if you're looking for a long wearing liquid liner, but you feel, but you want one that's kind of idiot proof, I would suggest this. So, this is it. I'm so excited about this. I think it's just fun. 
ultra black gel cream liner. So I feel like it's a straight up dupe. Oh my gosh, look. Hello. So there you go. It just dried like in less than a minute. It's now I have to totally. <laughs> okay, you guys are totally gonna ask about my lip and I know I'm kind of strong today. It's colored rain cherry blossom. I was just feeling it, you know. Um, anything else that you notice about my face? Maybe it doesn't look like it on camera. I am not wearing any highlighter. I am totally matte, you guys. I'm only wearing bronzer and contour, which, dude, the contour went on kind of heavy today. But I'm not wearing any highlight, but it does have a little bit of a glow. I'm glowing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even remember what foundation I'm wearing today. Yeah. Alrighty. Maybe it's the Fix Plus. I don't know. Okay. Well, thanks guys for joining me and I hope you liked this week's bargain of the week. Be sure to click that bell so you can get notified for next week's bargain of the week. It comes up every Friday, but you know, just in case you forget it's Friday. Um, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.